this year 2020 did not turn out the way we planned to. COVID-19 has had and still has an enormous negative impact on the life of families and societies all over the world. Today on World Teachers Day, we would like to learn more about how it has affected schools and those who study and work there. I would like to ask you, Johanna Jara Ostrand, the president of Swedish Teachers Union, Lära Förbundet, a bit about what has happened in Sweden. Well, first of all, in Sweden, we have not experienced the total lockdown that happened in many other countries. Uh, however, the strict recommendations on social distancing, hygiene, travel and gatherings have been similar to those who practiced in other parts of, of the world. Uh, Swedish authorities, they decided to close upper secondary schools, universities, adult education center in mid-March, and they switched to distance education from one day to another. Early childhood education and grade one uh, through nine, they have been kept open uh, all through the pandemic. And now we have a situation where all schools are open again. Does that mean that everything has been fairly normal for pupils, teachers and school leaders during the spring then? No, no, far from it. Uh, a switch to, to distance um, teaching and learning isn't easy at any level of education. And distance learning puts a heavy responsibility on on each student and the pedagogical limits are it's, it's, it's obvious mm. and the inequities that uh, shows in and exist in and among Swedish schools uh, also concern the access to relevant digital tools and platforms and many teachers had a little experience of distance teaching methods before the pandemic. But also in the parts of our education system that was kept open, uh, the situation has been very difficult. Part of uh, the children and pupils have been sick or kept at home because of uh, their parents being in a risk group or simply because they are afraid of sending their their kids to school considering the risk of catching the virus and um, th there have also been high demands on teachers to teach both on site and online at the same time which of course creates a heavy and a double workload and uh, teachers of course also have been sick or at home because they belong to risk group and with no substitute teachers Many teachers feel quite exhausted. How did your members, Swedish teachers, react and act in this situation? School leaders and teachers have really taken on the challenges of reorganizing work, uh, creating a safe learning environment, helping each other and, and contributing to, to a sense of normality during this crisis for for children and pupils and they have met pupils and, and parents in their worries while having to handle the concerns of their own health and uh, that of their families and uh, a lot of members have have contacted us with with their worries but also with their proposals because most of all teachers want to teach and, and do it well and as I said, many teachers feel quite exhausted right now because during this period, it has not been possible to guarantee quality education. And you as a union, how have you worked during this period? I guess as all other unions, we have had to fight for just conditions for our members in an entirely new situation. And I really would like to highlight the work of our members and union representatives. The pandemic has brought new issues to the social dialogue with the employer, new risks to assess and manage together with colleagues, 
and uh, Lärarförbundet has developed the tools to facilitate this work that it has been done in, in the workplaces. And uh, also our union membership services, they have tripled the number of calls they received uh, and increased the opening hours during the first month of the, the pandemic. And based on, on our members' concerns, uh, we have developed uh, our communication with the members, but also the social uh, dialogue at the national level. And uh, initially, our main issue was the immediate health and safety of, uh, of our members, and especially uh, for the teachers being uh, belonging to different risk groups. And their possibility to, to stay at home with sick leave remuneration or work from their home has been and still is an important issue. And uh, although we have celebrated uh, victories, we have also we can also see in that the, that the actual implementation of decisions has taken a long time. Uh, and the second big issue has been to make the Ministry of Education and the National School Agency uh, understand that they need to lower their expectations on schools during the pandemic. And like everywhere else, we know that the strict measures will apply in school and society for the foreseeable future. We do not know what the next phase of the pandemic will be, but our current concern is the burnout teachers are experiencing after a month of double workload. And right now, we worry more about stress related uh, diseases among teachers than the actual virus, which at the moment uh, is spreading at a slower pace. Are there lessons learned that you believe that we as the teaching profession and organizations should carry with us for the future? Yes, I, I think we've learned during this period is that the measures taken by union in a crisis need to be contextual. We have discussed and we have shared experiences with sister unions in Education International. Um, we have learned from each other, but we have not copied each other's solutions. And I've been so impressed by all the examples of teachers' initiatives and leadership. Uh, we have seen the importance of positive feedback, of lifting each other up, uh, and recognizing what teachers contribute to society and the leadership of uh, this profession the leadership this profession shows. And uh, we celebrate this on World Teachers Day by reaffirming our commitment as a union uh, to a sound working environment in schools, uh, to teachers' well-being at work and the necessary conditions for, for a sustainable working life as a teacher, hoping uh, that in the coming years, we may welcome many new and young teachers into our profession and our unions. Because we know the future, it starts with good teachers together. Thank you so much, Johanna. Thank you very much. Thank you.